Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. This is going to be a really exciting tutorial because we're introducing brand new technology. So brand new software that I think is going to really help those of you who are looking for a solution for one, collecting rent and two, getting that information into QuickBooks without having to do a bunch of manual entry. All right, this is a huge problem that a lot of us in the industry have, and this new service called AutoSync addresses it specifically. All right, so we're gonna get into that today. Uh, I got a few slides to kind of discuss what we do, and then I'm gonna demo it uh, live, and this is gonna be my actual first time using it, so you're gonna see exactly how it works. All right, so the problem here is that we're typically using something outside of QuickBooks to collect collect rent. Even if we are using QuickBooks to collect rent, we have two problems. One, we can't easily set up recurring payments. And two, they start charging a lot of money to accept rent through QuickBooks. All right, so if we're using an external service. Sometimes it's free, but there's often fees associated with that. And what happens is that uh, the fee is just taken out of the revenue. And it's kind of like, let's say that your rent's 900 bucks and there's like a $2 fee then it would show that your rent is 898 bucks, right? It's distorting your financials. Um, if you don't have a fee, you still have the batching problem below where your deposits are batched and you can't tell which transaction comes from which tenant. So that's a huge problem with Cozy when they um, you know, batch a ton of transactions you can't see. And also, as I mentioned, QuickBooks payments is expensive. There's no recurring payments, all right? So that's the problem we're all kind of dealing with with a bunch of you know, patchwork of solutions. And now we have an actual technology solution. So we take Stripe, which is the, I would say, probably the leader in online payment processing. And we are able to connect it with QuickBooks. So we're gonna accept payments through Stripe and we're gonna connect it with QuickBooks Online with this new service called AutoSync, okay? So how does this whole thing work? Well, when you get a new tenant, meaning you are signing somebody up for a rental lease, you're going to create a new subscription and uh, a new invoice. The tenant's gonna pay that invoice. It's all gonna happen through Stripe. And what AutoSync is going to do is going to send the revenue and the expense to QuickBooks. It's gonna sync up with your customer and your product and service list. And then in a couple days, that payout's gonna happen with a bank transfer. Now, these first two steps, the create subscription and invoice to tenant, that's actually gonna happen in AutoSync itself. I'm gonna show you that on the user interface, all right? So how does this all you know, work? It's really two events, right? There's first, the payment comes in. So when the customer actually fills out their bank information, we're gonna see a revenue item and an expense item hit both Stripe and QuickBooks. And then in a day or two, or depending on when your payout setup is, is established with Stripe, you're gonna get that transfer to your bank account, okay? So we have a Stripe holding account in QuickBooks where the money's gonna sit until Stripe transfers that to us, and that's gonna be the net of the revenue minus the fee, all right? It's a really cool technology, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's look at it right now, okay? so. Here is AutoSync, right? And I, I have an account, I'm just gonna sign in and you're gonna see exactly how it, it's set up, all right? And again, I haven't really used this yet. Now, one thing that's really cool, if I wasn't using a, um, a test account within QuickBooks, you'd see a lot of cool analytics here as well. So in addition to what I'm demonstrating as far as the payment processing, there's some really cool QuickBooks analytics that happens as well. So I've synced my Income Digs REI account with Stripe and with AutoSync and it's got this cool dashboard. Now this is like a testing account that I use to, to show my students and to teach my students. So there's nothing really in here, but later on we're gonna do a, a demo on that as well to show the cool um, accounting that happens. So I've set this up already where I'm syncing my account with Stripe and with QuickBooks. So if you don't have a Stripe account yet, you can sign up for free and this is kind of what the interface looks like. We're not gonna to do too much in here because AutoSync kind of handles that. But basically you're gonna have customers just kind of like you have customers in QuickBooks. And we're actually gonna set up subscriptions for our tenants, okay? And again, AutoSync kind of handles all of that. All right, so let's say that we just got a new tenant to one of our apartments and we wanna get them started on AutoPay. How does that whole thing work, okay? So we're gonna use this AutoPay feature right within uh, AutoSync. Now, I can start right from here and do nothing on the QuickBooks side, meaning I don't need to create the customer ahead of time, nor do I need to create the product and service. I'm going to do that just to show you how the match works. 
but um, you don't have to, meaning you can just start right here. So what I mean by that is in QuickBooks, I'm going to add my new tenant here. And part of the reason you might wanna do it ahead of time is so that the sub customer gets linked. So if you're tracking where you have your, um, your property and then your tenants below that, if you want that hierarchy to be maintained, you'd probably wanna do this ahead of time. So I'm going to add a new customer. Okay, and we're gonna call this person, um, let me just think of a kind of a random name. So let's just do um, Wendell Rice, okay. And I'm gonna give them an email address. Now this email address is what AutoSync will use to find your customer, okay. So I'm gonna use that one here. Okay, and I'm also gonna make this a sub-customer. So again, this is why you might wanna do it ahead of time. If you didn't wanna make it a sub-customer, you wouldn't have to do this at all. Okay, now I also have my products and services already established. So I have one, two, three Main Street, apartment A rent. I already have that established, so I'm gonna keep it there. And you probably will have these products and services already established because you've been renting out this unit before, okay? Now the other thing that I'll just mention that AutoSync will do as soon as you create your account is it will create for you a Stripe account in your chart of accounts that's gonna act just as a bank account. And that's really kind of a holding account. So when a payment comes in, it's going to land in the Stripe account. And then depending on your frequency of transfer to your bank, AutoSync will automatically move those funds from Stripe to your bank account, okay? So let's check that out. And when I say automatically to your bank account, in your settings here, you're gonna have, um, where the property, you know, where the deposit account goes, okay? Alrighty, so let's get started with this, okay? So um, I'm gonna create a new auto pay. So let's assume that that Wendell Rice just got added to my tenancy, I just have a new lease with them, I'm gonna create a subscription. So I'm gonna go here to new. And when I do that, I am able to select my customer, select my plan. Now, I haven't added a customer or plan. We're talking about Stripe right now, okay? So Stripe doesn't have my info yet, all right? So I'm gonna add this one here. So here's where you could, if you haven't created in QuickBooks yet, you could just create it here. I've already created in QuickBooks, so what I'm gonna do, and again, I just wanna make sure that my hierarchy is maintained. That's why I've created ahead of time, okay? So I'm gonna create that customer and then here comes to the plan. I'm going to add a new plan as well. Um, and I'm gonna wanna make sure that this matches just so it finds it. Again, if you haven't done this already, you can do it right from, um, right from AutoSync or Stripe. Okay, the plan I'm going to do a monthly and it's gonna be $850. Okay, so this is where you're setting up how much is your rent and what's the interval, okay? So create plan. So now I'm ready to go, and when I click save and send, now my customer is going to get that invoice that they can pay through ACH, okay? Okay, so Wendell has been sent the invoice. So let's go see that. Okay, so there's the invoice coming through. Now I haven't updated my settings yet, but you can add your logo to this, your name and all that stuff, right? So this is from the tenant's perspective, they're gonna get this invoice and they can click pay now. And we're gonna probably, oh, I do have my logo on there. Cool, nice, looks pretty cool, right? Um, so um, I'm gonna do ACH bank transfer. Now we wouldn't give them the option to do credit, well you could give them the option to do credit card, but you might wanna um, take, that, take that off. So I'm gonna do ACH bank transfer. And here's what's super cool about this, right? Is it's not only ACH where I, like I'm not entering a routing number or a bank account number. Instead, I'm just connecting to my online bank connection. So let me see if they have Northwest Bank. Um, yep, okay, let me see. I'm gonna do my Income Digs account or this test account that we have set up here. Let's see, I'm gonna not save that. So it's checking to see. So what's neat about this too is like, I don't have to memorize routing numbers or have that over there. All right, looks like they're gonna text me a code, which you would expect, right? So your tenant's going to need to have this set up. What's cool about this is once it's set up, that's how all the payments are gonna do. So no ACH authorization forms, none of that stuff. All right, so I just got a text on my phone for eight, it's 872-576, submit. 
all this is built into AutoSync, right? So again, no ACH authorization forms, no routing numbers, no bank account numbers. Everybody's got an online account these days, right? Um, so it looks like you select your account where it's gonna come out of, submit payment. And now when this payment is submitted, two things happen. One, it's submitted and the, the transaction is um, is logged. And that second thing that happens is now we have the payment information and that Stripe now knows that it can send, it's going to recurringly take this, uh, take these funds from the customer, right? They've pretty much given their authorization until we cancel that, okay? So now what happens is that, um, is that what, we have going to QuickBooks is that two things are going to happen. The revenue is going to hit the Stripe account and the expense is going to hit the Stripe account and then the transfer is going to hit. Now with an ACH, it might take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video right now and then in a few hours or a day or whenever it comes out, I'm going to get the video back and we're going to see uh, those transactions in QuickBooks. All right, so I'll be right back in, uh, in a bit. All right, so welcome back here. I'm in QuickBooks now, and I've, I have the payment that came through from Stripe, okay? And so I have a sales receipt to this customer for $850, and if you'll notice here, it gets deposited to the Stripe account, right? That's that kind of holding account um, that, that holds these funds until it's transferred. And again, that transfer is gonna happen depending on your settings but let me just show you what that Stripe account looks like. So if I go to chart of accounts, I'll see my Stripe account has $845 in it. Why 845? Well, it's because it also charged me the $5 ACH fee, okay? So there's the revenue coming in and then there's the payment fee for $5. So now my Stripe account has a balance of 845. And as multiple payments come through, that balance is going to increase or decrease, whatever. And then AutoSync, Whenever Stripe, you have in your Stripe settings, you, you can tell Stripe when you want to transfer to your bank, whether it's like once a week, as soon as possible, whatever. Every time a transfer initiates, AutoSync is going to transfer the balance from this Stripe account to your bank account. And then that will easily match with your bank feed. Okay, so it's all in there. So we're able to manage subscriptions and we're using a super, like Stripe is you know the most trusted payment processing uh, software that's out there, right? So we're, we're using that, we're syncing with QuickBooks, and we're getting all of those benefits, okay? So it's, it's really, really cool. So I encourage you to check it out um, and give it a try. And like I said, um, beyond just the syncing, okay? Which is, I think, you know, the main reason I'm really excited about it, but there's also, you know how into analytics I am too, right? There's gonna be some really cool reporting and just give me a little bit of time to mess with this and um, get my, my sample account going and we're gonna see a really cool dashboard here as well, all right? So I really appreciate you tuning in for this. Again, this is AutoSync, it's really exciting software. We have the link in the info below. Give it a shot and try it out. I think there's a seven day uh, free trial uh, so you can give that a, a try and it might uh, just be that solution to payment processing issues that we're having with, uh, with QuickBooks and rental properties, all right? And, and be sure to check out all the free materials available at IncomeDigs.com. We are still open for enrollment for Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. So if you're interested at all, we, we have uh, continued enrollment for the next couple of weeks. So we'd love to see you in the course. Uh, but until next time, we will see you on the next video.